Oh, what's up, Internet? Welcome back to yet another snowy weekend adventure in video game hunting. Probably gonna go up to the grid games. It's been quite some time since we checked that out. Really thought the snow was over, but we got more snow in the next three days than we probably should.
much is that Kirby Star Trek? Mm -hmm. No, I, I had a. Uh... And the Kirby's Apple. Mm -hmm. I had Chi Chi every all the inbox stuff. Of course not. Kirby Star Sacker is 29, and Avalanche is 34. Okay. I like your hat. So, as you saw, we found Jaws Unleashed again at Regency Games over here in the Manchester Mall. Uh, Alicia just ran into a store, women's clothing, so I'm sticking it out in the car. Um, decided to open it up, check the condition. First off, loose disc, never a good idea. Second off, not the right fucking game. We're gonna have to go back to the stupid fucking mall and stupid fucking Regency Games. Platinum Hits, Ghost Recon, Island Thunder. Last time I shopped there. So the employee at Regency Games did the refund, but did not seem surprised that it had happened. I think a free tip I can give you if you work at Regency Games. Worry less about putting tape on the cases so people don't steal from you. If you just, you know, would be a little bit smarter about how you do things, you wouldn't have to do shit like that. Like, just the idea that there's tape on there to begin with, like, how the fuck do I know that I want to buy a game if I don't know the condition of it? You know? Like, if it's fucking scratched to shit, like, why do I have to wait until after I buy it to know that? Like, that's fucking stupid. Save yourself a lot of time. It's a lot of minimum wage you don't have to pay people. And probably be better off for everybody in the long run.
Even the grid. Oh, oh for over here about an hour. Five hours and twenty seven seconds. That's what it felt like for her. Still snowing outside is fucking etiquette. Oh, we're out of credit. I'll explain later. So we just spent all of our credit that we had, about $150 in GameStop credit, right? And I can't get out of a GameStop without finding something worth complaining about, apparently. So you'll notice $34, obviously not a current price for Killzone Shadowfall. This is one of those games that they have in their drawers ready to pull out and give to you instead of uh, the case and, you know, manual that you presented to them. And as you can see here, obviously out of all the fucking Killzone Shadow Falls in the fucking GameStop, I would not have selected one that has a tear in the plastic. But that's what GameStop decided to give me. I've said it before. I'll say it again. Fuck GameStop. W comic show. Terrible lightning. Or die. Oh, now we're Alright, alright. Doing some game Have you ever let me show you. Have you ever skied or died? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> You've died while skiing? They call that Sunny Pono. Kill switch. <laughs> Too soon? Too soon. Mission impossible. Mission impossible. And Deadly Towers. Deadly Towers. I think the Angry Video game. Didn't he review this? Uh, I wouldn't know. Seems like it would be up or down. By the way, I told you. This is real. You didn't know that I'm not. Three. Four. Okay. Thank you. Thanks, man. Thank you. I'm not getting that. Oh, you want to get that? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> this is a Game Boy. Yeah. Those are five. Game Boy's are five? Can I see the box in one? This? This yeah. box? Yeah. 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 Yeah.
see if anything new has come in. It's been about, num <laughs> I think I drop in like every month and a half. So besides the makeover that the booth at the Plainville Flea Market went through, not much has changed. Nothing really came in that I was interested in. So let's go to our pickups. All right, guys, let's go over the pickups I got this weekend. Um, first one here, 3DS charger. Technically, it should have been in a thrifting video, but we didn't find anything else. Picked this up for two bucks at the Savers. Um, had a pickup from Regency Gaming, but they fucked up and got that returned because they put the wrong game in the case. Got my money back. Definitely would not recommend shopping there. What I would recommend if you're in Manchester is going to the Grid Games, checking out Carl's store. Picked up everything you're about to see here for a decent price. He gives Alright guys, let's go over the pickups I got this weekend. Um, first one here. 3DS charger. Technically, it should have been in a thrifting video, but we didn't find anything else. Picked this up for two bucks at the Savers. Um, had a pickup from Regency Gaming, but they fucked up and got that returned because they put the wrong game in the case. Got my money back. Definitely would not recommend shopping there. What I would recommend if you're in Manchester is going to the Grid Games, checking out Carl's store. Picked up everything you're about to see here for a decent price. He picked up Breath of Fire Dragon Quarter, which is shitty PlayStation 2 RPG, but I'm kind of going for all the RPGs. And I just saw a review by Super Derek, and pretty much convinced me that I'm not going to play that anytime soon. Also got Dragon Quest IX, Sentinels of the Starry Skies. Still on the RPG kick, we picked up Tales of Fantasia for the Game Boy Advance. And this is in really nice shape. The game in here even has the plastic on it still. Got a box protector on it already, of course. Let's skip around a bit. We'll go with what I just picked up today from the comic convention, I guess. Picked these up from the old guy that's been featured on some of my videos a few times. Paid $7 for these two games. It was $3 for... Super Empire Strikes Back, which I haven't picked up ever. And $4, I guess, for Left 4 Dead 2. Both in pretty good shape. Uh, he initially said $3 on all the Xbox 360 games, but his wife had to remind him that he was senile, I guess, and he previously priced everything. I would have picked up a lot more if they were all $3. He had all the good Call of Duty games. Uh, which can trade in to GameStop for quite a bit. My eyes are getting wide because this cat is about to knock over this fucking tripod with the fucking tail of his. Everything else I got here was with trade credit from GameStop. My favorite place! 
This cat is dangerously close to getting thrown out of the room. <laughs> and as I said before, they fucked up, gave me the case I didn't want for this. They love to take your case, go and instead of like the small effort it would take to take a fucking disc from their fucking stupid shelf and put it into the case that you presented them, they just take whatever fucking shitty case they have it's got a cut on the back right there. Uh, the sticker on this one was actually so rough that I kind of fucked up the front getting it off of there. And given it doesn't come with a manual, but it at least came with what was it PlayStation Network 7 day trial. Which who knows whether or not it was even expired. So fuck GameStop as I've said many times. But this was all with credit. That was about $13. This next game was about $13. I probably could have got it for less than $10 on eBay, but... That would have cost me actual money. Zombie U. Been looking forward to trying this game out. Looks really cool. It uses the touchpad better than any Wii U game so far. And it was a launch title. And no one else has really tried. Jesus Christ, cat. I'll we'll shake the entire room. This was a pickup that was surprising even to me. Um, tank, Tank, Tank for the Wii U. One of the Wii U titles and Nintendo titles in general that has been, I guess, put out of print by Nintendo. Um, I bought this in some kind of online sale. I don't remember what source was selling it, but it was only like $10 when I bought it, and it was when I was trying to beef up my Wii U collection. Apparently it's now going for around $30 to $45, and GameStop still has it for $22. So I decided to pick it up. Might try and trade it away. Might sell it, don't know get some of my money back, turn some of that credit into actual cash wouldn't be a bad idea. Another reason I bought this game, which is, I would never do this. I would never do this. This is a GameStop stupid shitty holder case, but inside we have Cave Story 3D, which goes for around $25 loose and they only wanted 22 in credit so i figured you know whatever it's it's a harder to find game might as well pick it up given i already have it complete which i just got in a trade from gamer emporium but i was basically if it wasn't a game i wanted to keep for myself i was looking to turn some of that credit into cash and the next two games are two 3ds titles that are out of print and are just rising in price lately but i see them at every single GameStop i go to so be sure to check these out. The price is a little high. They were both $30 or $35 each, I think. One of them was $35, one of them was like $31. But with credit, it doesn't really matter that much, especially when they're worth a lot more and will be worth much more in the future. That is, of course, Star Fox 64 3D. Complete. And Kid Icarus Uprising which is a game I wanted to try out when it came out. I thought the online community for this was gonna be jumping. Like, I saw a lot of videos that looked like it would be a lot of fun. Here the controls aren't great, and it doesn't come with the bigger box that has like some kind of stand for the 3DS in it, but definitely a title that's gonna be harder to get in the future. So let me know in the comments below what you were able to find this weekend. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'm going to kick it over to what will be possibly a new segment on the end of these videos. Let's go. So this segment is going to be for trades. I'd like to start doing some trades with other YouTubers or people in the YouTube community that watch my videos. I'm going to start off very small this week. As far as my wants, obviously any Kirby game that I'm still looking for, which you can find a list on the latest Kirby Conquest video which I should be probably linking in the video up here somewhere. Also, RPGs in general. If I don't have them, I probably want them. But one main thing that I probably will not be able to find on my own unless you guys have it and are willing to trade it, I'm very desperately looking for the box for Bucky O'Hare for the NES. I already have the cartridge. I already have the manual. It's my favorite NES game. I don't want to have to buy it complete and then sell off the extras, so... Let me know if you have those for trade. Like I said, going to start very slow this week. I'm um, going to put up for trade. I have Cave Story Cartridge Only, which you just saw, and Tank Tank Tank. If you're interested in getting those, let me know. 
But what you haven't seen that I have for trade, I have Banjo Tui complete in the box, and it's in really nice shape. I never played this. I played the first one quite a bit at demo kiosks at KB Toy Works back in the day where my mom worked, and I played through at least the first like 10 stages often, but that system would keep getting reset without saving, so. Not too attached to the second game. Let me know in the comments below if you're interested. You can get at me on Twitter or Facebook. So, as always, keep it real internet.